all to know. We like to do a party on the radio, where all the staff are present, waiting for the call. To step up to the microphone to entertain you all. So sit right back and rest at ease. The party starts and here we go. Although we can't be all these guys, we hope that you will recognize the stars of the radio. Chicago, bringing you the world's greatest program, Ava Witt and Anderson. 7 o'clock. 
As the scene opens, we find the boys in the taxi cab office. Amos is at the telephone. Here they are. Hello, them with the fresh out taxi cab government of America Incorporated. Amos Jones speaking. Uh, who is that at the telephone, Amos? And will you just keep your big mouth shut, please? Amos, I'll go to bust you right in the nose. In our kingdom. Hey, boys, don't fight. Always remember that we are all brothers in that great fraternity, the mystic state of the sea. Now, there is a laser man for you. Come on, Lightning. Go ahead with the brother Crawford and the king. Yeah, brother Crawford and the yeah. Come on, brother Crawford. Well, I suppose I might as well go too. If I do not, my wife will be very unhappy. His wife is always unhappy. Oh, me. And the U.S. of the other man in Harlem, do you know it? You was really in the tile of the business. Well, what of you do, son? But now you see, Amos, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I don't do nothing for no one. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are rest. But Amos, Sunday, that is my business day. Well, what did you do Sunday, Amos? Amos, I was busy all day, getting ready to do nothing, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh, wow, oh, Okay, boys, and here we are, good old college in. Take it away, Ben. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the old microbe and all the lads, Yowser, coming to you through the courtesy of good old Alma Malta, so help me. And just be with me and I will introduce, ladies and gentlemen, the Greek ambassador, George Gibbon. <laughs> ladies and gentle people, I have for it to be terrific pleasure to come for the United States. I don't like to brag it also, you, but I want for to introduce two great personalities, Martin Dami and his philosopher. Funny ones. How do you like that? When you're away, I close the day. Remember me. When shadows fall, my heart will fall. Remember me. I is in the suffering people. Mm. This is Tony Khan speaking. And you know who's singing? Hmm? Why, that's Martin Downey's nephew, Wade Downey. Say, folks, did you ever smoke old brass cigarettes? Hmm? Not a cough in a carload. Hmm? But who in the heck wants to smoke a carload? Hmm? Refrain, but if you care. No matter where you chance to be, when you're away, my heart will say, remember me. Okay, and here come the two liquids, Burns and Alice. Come on, Gracie, how are you? Oh, I'm all right, but by the way, Georgie, how is your sister's baby saving? Why, Gracie, that child is marvelous. It's been walking since it's eight months old. See, Georgie, she must be awfully tired by now. Ha! <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, Barnes and Alan, here comes Bing Crosby's brother, Chris Crosby. Where's the blue of the night? Meet the gold of the day. And now, ladies and gentlemen, comes the important announcement for which you have been patiently waiting. The name of the winner of today's lucky prize is Mr. B.O. Smellington. Congratulations, B.O. You are the lucky winner of a five-cent bar of Life Boy Soap. Come on. Tomorrow night, at no time. Thank you. Thank you. 